All right. Are we? Do we all pick up our fourteen dollar round there? All right. Look up here for a minute. So, as I was saying earlier about the magwells, here's a perfect example. This is a Sig 365XL. It actually has a built-in uh, unremovable magwell. Okay. Somebody else had one. I got it. So you added yours, right? No, I came with it. All right. You got another 365. You got another one. So here's the deal with this one. You can't get this out unless you have like a, a laser like sticky tongue and you can rip it out. There's nothing to hold on to. You can do a couple things. You can take this to somebody that you understand you're going to permanently uh, destroy the script, but it's kind of replaceable anyway. And they can grind out a, a little circle there so that you can get your fingers in there and rip it out. Okay? Uh, to me, I value ripping a magazine out over how fast I can funnel that mag in there any day. For a realistic carry gun. If I was like a, you know, some competitor and I was just trying to run and gun as fast as I can, that's not what this class is about. So, let me show you how this works. Whose gun is this? Do you have ammo? Well, look at you. All right, you can also do a base plate meal instead of grinding down the well. That's true, yeah. If you, you can also buy a, a big base plate that sticks out pretty far and Got make it. that your carry mag. Uh, and that's another option that you can get a hold of and get it. And what do we have a problem here? We have opposing springs. I've got a recoil spring, pulling the slide forward. I got the magazine spring pushing up there and I got a bunch of tension. So when I press this magazine release, it won't go. So I'm pressing and holding it and I'm ripping it out. The reason I'm doing this, I'm skipping this step. So now we can no longer skip this step. This is also how we would fix it if we only had one hand. We're going to lock the slide to the rear first. So basically the, the gun's jammed up like this. And now I'm going to push the slide back far enough to lock the slide. Okay. Once I lock the slide, where was that tension coming from? Do you remember? Yeah, the the magazine right. spring and the recoil spring. Well, I took the spring out of the game now. So now they're not fighting each other. Eyes and ears. So here we go. I got my uh, setup set up like this. One in the chamber, the other one trying to go in there. Everybody got ears on? Doesn't work. I, I press and hold, I can't get it out. So what I'm gonna do now is lock this to the rear. I'm gonna pull the magazine down. I'm gonna stow it, flex, reinsert. <coughs> okay. So what's the extra step we gotta add? Locking, Locking the, the slide to the rear. So the question is, is changing your base plate or having no magwell worse? Locking the slide to the rear, and I would say, I would much rather just be able to rip that magazine out, personally, than how fast I can get that magazine in that one-tenth that it saves me.